Hello. Welcome to a burger short. Anyways, so I got this car running and driving. Um, I did some work on the brakes and I went ahead and drove it to a car wash earlier and uh, I got some of the... Oh, I locked it. What the hell? And I got some of the dirt cleaned out of it. As you can see here, it's a little bit better, but it's not great. Um, but that is not all I've done because as you can see over here, I've got the uh, 2011 Impreza waiting for a turbo to come back from Force Performance. I've got my 2007 Honda Accord that I bought from a buy here, pay here lot. Uh, this car runs and drives great, needs nothing. Uh, it does have a little bit of crash damage, but honestly, the door shuts and locks and I really just don't care. This this car does everything I need it to do and it's a, a five-speed manual. But what else I've done is buy this back. <laughs> and if you've watched any of my channel videos before, uh, you may have seen this car. This was my 2002 uh, Subaru Impreza uh, 2.5 TS. So it's just a automatic transmission uh, uh, naturally aspirated you know no big nothing fancy here but oh, damn it. you gotta you gotta kind of like shove your finger in the right spot here to get the door open yeah there we go this has been through some shit so I don't know if you can tell but all of the the windshield has been beaten We've got uh, some fireworks had, had been thrown into the car and, uh, you know, put some pretty nice burn holes in the seats. Absolutely just destroyed the rear seats. Um, oh, three quarters. But the car still runs. You know, it still works. Um, they actually drove it here. Or, you know, we drove it here, but the title and everything is still in my name, so uh, it won't be hardly any work to put this back to put this back into service, other than, you know, replacing like the hood and the bumper. And the... I think this fender's okay. I mean, it's a little creasy, but it was like that before. But yeah, the bumper, the hood, at least. Um, I think there might be some damage to the core support that I may have to bang out with a mallet or something, but but the car is, you know, in pretty decent shape. This window does not exist, so you know I taped some cardboard on it, <laughs> you know, to keep the uh, to keep the bugs out. Oh, there's a nice little dent on there that wasn't bef wasn't there before, but I think I can suck this out with a suction cup. That one I'm not too worried about. My sticker's still there. That's from. Uh, from Cletus. Uh, back here in the back, I think uh, is all good. Mostly untouched back here. Uh, the headliner has, you know, had, it has some damage, but it's not, it's not totally destroyed. But this car still does have my uh, my Forester lift that I put on it. I actually meant to look at it down here see how it's been holding up it looks like <laughs> it looks like it's been holding up just fine there's about about 200 washers in there and a big old chunk of meld aluminum but uh, they drove the hell out of this thing and you know they haven't come they hadn't complained about the suspension being bad or anything uh, but it was um, vandalized quite a few times, obviously. We got a little crack on the mirror there. But I want to fix this car up. I want to make it what it used to be. I want it to be everything I remember it being, which was a perfectly good running and driving automatic naturally aspirated car. So, yeah. Um, this one kind of just fell into my lap. The uh, the owner was one of my friends, and we kind of decided that 
uh, he didn't want the car anymore because, you know, bad things kept happening to it. And I'm a sucker for lost causes, as you can see. So, and hey, here it is, back at the, uh, back at the shop. But, anyways, that is going to be it for this Burger Town short and or video. I don't know if you can put five minutes of video into a short, but... I'm going to try, and if not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.